Hey guys, and welcome back. In this short video, I want to talk about environment variables, and I want to show you how you can create environment variables and add them to your Python virtual environment. All right, so I have my PyCharm open here. I'm going to be writing Python code here, and I have a terminal here, which I'm going to be using to explain the idea of environment variables. I also have a virtual environment that I created earlier. The idea behind environment variables is sometimes when we write code in Python, we need to use maybe API keys, sometimes passwords, sometimes emails, usernames. And a lot of the times we'd like to hide this information. And the reason why we don't want to show this information is because we might, you know, share our code. Maybe you want to deploy your code. Maybe you want to record a YouTube video, just like what I'm doing here. And instead of showing, you know, the actual values, we can replace those values with keys if we use environment variables. So let me show you an example. An example will simplify things a little bit. Let's assume that I have a function. Uh, I'm going to call it my connect. And let's say this function connects to a database. And let's say it takes um, kind of the username and it takes also a password and a few other things like the host and maybe the, the port number and the database name. But let's just simplify it and let's have it take kind of two values here. And I actually don't want it to do anything because okay, so I'm going to just do pass, which means kind of do nothing in Python. Um, just for the sake of this short video, let's just do something that does nothing essentially. Um, and let's say you have a Python code that's going to connect to this, you know, database. So typically we would say my connect and you would say username is equal to, you know, your actual username. So I'm going to say my actual username. And then of course there's password and here I'm going to do my actual password. Um, now, for this to work, you probably want to send your, you know, actual username and your actual password. And that would work, hopefully, you know, if you have your function uh, working. But the problem with, you know, writing your actual username here and your actual password here is if you were to share this file with someone else, let's say you want to upload it on GitHub or maybe you want to send it to your friend, that's going to be a problem, right? Because you probably wouldn't want them to see, you know, your credentials. So in Python, we can actually um, replace those with environment variables. So let me show you how we can do that. Um, so we can import OS. And let me actually take that, put it at the top. And here we can replace this with something that looks like this. OS.environ. And between square brackets, we can say, for example, my username. And it should be all uppercase. That's kind of the convention. And this one would be os.environ and maybe my password. Um, so if we have an environment variable with the key, my username, then all of that would be replaced with the value of that item in the dictionary. So this, guys, is a dictionary. And we know that a dictionary is a set of key value pairs. So there will be a key and then a value, a key and a value. And if we use a square brackets, we're going to access the value from the key or using the key. Now, if I were to run my code, um, it's not going to run. And the reason why it's going to break is because I don't have um, a, an item in this dictionary, which is my environment variables that has the key, my username. And if you try to access a dictionary like that, and if the key doesn't exist, it's going to actually throw an error. So let me activate my virtual environment. So let me do source, then bin activate. Okay, so right now I activated this virtual environment. And let me try to run this file by doing python main.py. This is really the name of the file. And as I hit enter, you will see that it says my username does not exist in this dictionary which contains my environment variables. So I'm going to show you uh, how you should do that the proper way. 
But just to kind of test it, what we could do is we could add an environment variable kind of on the fly. And we can do that by doing export. And then we can give it the key. And the key is going to be my underscore username. And that's going to be equal to, and I'm going to give it the value. Let's say the value is Ben. If we do that, then an environment variable will be created with this key and with this value. And if I run my Python right now, it's not going to complain about this, but it will complain about that. So let me do this. You can see here it's complaining about my password. So maybe I can create an environment variable for password. Let me give it something like sky ocean. And right now, if I run my Python file, you can see it's not complaining. And what I could actually do is I could just print them. Maybe I can print them. That's better for demonstrating what's happening. My username. And I can say my password. And if I do python main.py, you will see that it printed Ben and it printed sky ocean. Now, the problem with uh, creating your environment variables like that is if you were to kind of close this session, and if you were to open a new terminal session, and if you were to kind of do python main.py, it's going to complain. The reason why it's going to complain because when you create environment variables by doing export, this will only persist during the session. And as soon as you close the session, you're going to lose that information. And that's not ideal. In the ideal situation, you want to define your environment variable once. And uh, whenever you run your Python code, it should kind of get those values and use them in your code. All right, guys. So uh, creating environment variables using export, again, is not great because as soon as you close the terminal, you're going to lose those environment variables. Now, the best way to create environment variables when you have a Python virtual environment would be to define those environment variables inside this file, activate. Now, the reason why we do this is because whenever we activate the virtual environment, we have to run this file. So let me deactivate. And uh, if you want to activate this virtual environment, remember that the way we do it is by doing source, then bin activate. So we're essentially running this file activate. So maybe it would be a good idea to do the exports inside this file. And that means, and we can do it at the bottom here. And that means every time we activate the environment, those environment variables will be defined. So I can say export just like how I've done it before. And I can say my username and I'm going to give it the name Ben. And then I can say export my password and I can give it the name uh, or the value that I give it sky ocean or ocean sky doesn't matter. Okay. And I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to activate. So I'm going to run this command. And now I'm going to try to run my Python script. So I can do Python main. And you can see it actually displayed the right values. Now I can close my session. I can open a new session. And if I do Python main, it's still going to work. Um, and you can keep adding to your activate file, you know, however many environment variables you need. And again, every time you activate the virtual environment, those will be defined. That means you can access them in your Python script. All right. So one last thing before we end this video, I want to show you another way of accessing values from a dictionary. So again, os.environ is just a dictionary. And I can define my own dictionary here. Say, for example, I can say my dictionary. And I can say, I want to give it the key, maybe name. Again, Ben. I can say, for example, profession. And maybe that would be chef. Um, 
And we know that uh, we can access bin using the key name, and we can do that by running print my dictionary and between square brackets. I can use either single or double quotes. I can do name. So we know that this should work. I can do Python main just to show you. And you can see here it printed Ben. Well, let me change that to John. And let me comment those so that we don't kind of confuse ourselves. And let me hit that again. And you can see it printed John. Um, now, if name is not in my keys of this dictionary, then that's going to throw an error. For example, if you try to do age here, that's going to throw an error because age is not one of my keys in this dictionary. So let me do that, Python main, you can see that it says there's a key error and that's age. Now, the other way of accessing values using keys would be to do my dictionary.git and here you want to specify the key so you can say name. And in this case, this will return John because we do have a, a key value pair that has key name. You can see here, I'm gonna do python main.py and you can see it printed John. And if you try to access a key that doesn't exist, say for example, age, it's not gonna throw an error. Instead, it's gonna return none. So this is something that you probably need to know about dictionaries. So of course, because os.environ is a dictionary, you can use .git and provide the key. And that way, if the key is not in your dictionary, at least it's not gonna throw an error. There is also another way of using git, another way that's actually somewhat common. And it looks like this. You can say print my dictionary .git and maybe you can say, um, again, for example, let's give it a key that doesn't exist. Let's say city. And after that, you can have a comma. And then you would have another value. And let's say, for example, here I'm going to do Charleston. So here I'm mixing single with double. Doesn't really matter, but let's just be consistent. What that's going to do is if we have a, a city key, then that's going to return the value of that key. However, if we don't have a key with the name city, then we're going to return Charleston. Let me run this. And you can see here it actually printed Charleston. So this one printed none, and this one printed Charleston. Now, if I replace city with name, then because the key name exists, then that's going to return John, and it's not going to return whatever name here, for example, it's not going to return Susan. All right, let's try it. You can see here that it returned John because the key name kind of exists. So the idea here is that you might see this use of accessing dictionary for os.environ. It's actually common to do os.environ and .git and maybe give it the key, for example, my username. However, if the key my username doesn't exist, maybe you want to return something like uh, no username, whatever the case may be. All right, guys, um, so that should be the end of this video. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, you can use the comments section below. Have a good one and I will see you soon.